Ladies and gentlemen, do welcome to today's edition of Press R. On Press R, we do not suppress our emotions. We only make sure that our good sense guide our emotions and we bind the two for a balanced person. And we do that on Press R to have a balanced <coughs> program. There are a certain number of things that make for democracy. And we have chosen just a few of them. Many people talk of human rights, they talk of accountability, they talk of so many other aspects. We have three principal things that we want to focus us on on press are. We're talking about a free press. And the former American president of late, Thomas Jefferson, said if he were to choose between a free press and politics, he would certainly go for a free press. Because with a free press... So many things will go well in politics. We also know about a civil society. If there is a strong civil society, it is automatic that there will be checks and balances and the political scenario, the political setup, will be called to order whenever it is going astray. And now, we also have a third part of this very important uh, aspect of a democracy, which is multiple partism, if you like, pluralism. And we are talking particularly here about a strong opposition. If you have a strong opposition <coughs> in a country, you are automatically going to have some of those democratic <coughs> principles like accountability and what have you. Just today, early this morning, the Social Democratic Front, the SDF, one party that was the maker and shakers of what was happening in this country that could hold government to task had an elective convention and it now has a new chairman. The second since its foundation in 1990. Will the new compensation, will the new order in the SDF make Omar the political party that made so many Cameroonians to hope. That will be our focus on Press R today. And to talk about this topic, we have Julius Fondong, who is a political analyst and an author. He has written and almost predicted on how the SDF could go, whether left or right, if certain things happen to it. We are particularly pleased to have you on our set today, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Kilian. It's always a pleasure to be back. A pleasure also to have you. We <coughs> have Dr. Isidore Kwakum, who is a political analyst. We the welcome you to press our with pleasure, Doctor. The pleasure is mine. I'm naturally happy to be here to give in my own contribution as part of Nation Media. Dennis Kemlimon is a regular participant, panelist on press R. He's been coming. Uh, he is a politician, I should tell you, an astute politician. He had been coming as someone of the SDF before. Today, he is a politician. You're going to learn more about this person who used to speak on this set. And the table will shake. We want to bring him on the set to let us know what happened, that he is no longer on the steering committee of the, of the SDF. Someone who is still on the way to this set because he just ended the convention that ended a few hours ago is Honore Ngam, who is a member of the National Executive Committee of the SDF. He is a former senator of that party. He is very, very, very high, highly positioned on that party. We're waiting for him. He is on the way coming. He's going to tell us how the convention ended. You can imagine exactly what we're going to be giving you today on this program. And you cannot budge an inch. We're going to start the program with what the press fed on the week that just ended. And Yoti Kale, the song I read the newspapers for us. Yoti? Finally, it happened. The long-awaited SDF National Convention. And we revisit the week's papers zooming in on what was recounted in the build-up to the 10th elective national convention of the Social Democratic Front. Apparently, 
There are three contenders in the race to the SDF chairmanship. The Guardian Post underlines, compiling an article that attempts an answer to the question, who among them can fit into Frundi's big shoes? A convention with very high stakes, writes Cameroon Tribune. The Herald Tribune goes further to enlighten readers on who is who, narrowing the story down to manifestos drifting aspirants apart, and the Guardian Post concurs, opining that lines have been drawn between the various candidates. Municipal updates calls it a succession battle, opting for the angle of when insiders become outsiders. The horizon rather spotlights the accomplishments of the late SDF chairman, the most recent being an honorary award of the Peace Office of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, as the paper headlines, for promoting nonviolence. Frunzi is honored posthumously by the PCC. However, the readership couldn't miss the caption, SDF New Leadership, New Era Begins Tomorrow. A near future, time will surely tell, as supporters eagerly await news on the new SDF National Chairman, a revelation to be discovered in the next edition of Press R. In the meantime, the Minister of Secondary Education, Professor Nalova Lyunga, has summoned 1,500 absentee teachers in a release signed on October 23 this year. Cameroon Tribune indicates that the teachers on the firing line have been given two weeks to clarify their situation or face the music. The secondary education boss is described as a no-nonsense minister in the Guardian Post. This is happening at a time when the Minister of State, Minister of Higher Education, is instructing the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Bamenda to appease disgruntled lecturers. Whilst the ICT University welcomes 1,000 fresh students for the new academic year during the 13th matriculation ceremony as seen on the reporter, the Horizon and Municipal Updates. The former highlights the inauguration of the Professor Jean-Emmanuel Ponzi Lecture Hall, referring to the act as merited honor. The reporter depicts the gesture as a recognition for selfless services. This week as well, the Guardian Post acclaimed Welisane Foundation's efforts in raising awareness on breast cancer by dedicating its personality of the week slot to the founder. And the reporter emphasizes that Welisane Foundation and partners are intensifying campaigns to sensitize people on breast cancer. Hepatitis C patients equally heaved a sigh of relief as the print media published several articles on the government declaring free treatment for hepatitis C patients, taking off the burden of spending 100,000 CFA francs monthly for treatment. Other stories like that on Esther Omam winning the 2023 Global Pluralism Award, government calling for the reduction in prices of chicken, eggs, bread and cement, and the MTN Elite One Championship resuming on November 5 after a 10-day recess kept newspaper lovers abreast of happenings within and without Cameroon. Not forgetting the highly anticipated professional boxing match between the reigning WBC champion Tyson Fury and former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, a bout painted as a clash of the titans. Thank you very much, uh, Yoti Kale Le Songe, for revisiting the newspaper pages, pages for us on press. Ah, and that tomorrow you're talking about is actually today because uh, the convention went aboard, crossed midnight, and it ended just a few hours today. Uh, we have a new chairman, national chairman of the Social Democratic Front, the SDF one time because no longer since the 2018 presidential election when the party was catapulted to the fourth position it has always been the second after the cpd but this time we had two other political parties that came in with more force with more energy and it was blamed on the crisis in the northwest and southwest regions where the sdf has always had as is fifth. But this time the SDF has not been the leading political party from that time, 2018. It has been the leading political party since 1990 to that 2018. What happened? There was a convention that changed hands after the demise of the founder, national chairman who died, Ni John Frundi. Now we have a new chairperson, national chairman of the SDF, Joshua Oshi. And we're just going to invite you to revisit what happened overnight today that we had a national chairman of the SDF. Benesa Akanga did not sleep. He 
like other people who were protesting, <coughs> did not sleep. And then this is what happened last night, over the night to this morning. We are extremely blessed in the Social Democratic Front uh, to have a party that has a very solid foundation that was put in place by our late national chairman, uh, Chairman Nijon Frundi, may his soul rest in peace. And uh, I think this new leadership, it's about a team, it's about a team building on that foundation and uh, taking the Social Democratic Front, front to higher heights. And so it's not only about change. Of course, there might be some changes to get to that objective. Uh, but the objective is not change. The objective is to go ahead. The objective is to win uh, in the local elections, the council elections. It's, the objective is to win in parliamentary elections. The objective is to be present all over Cameroon and to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest, uh, political forces in terms of uh, public policy propositions. This is the declaration of Honorable Joshua Osi after his election as chairman of the Social Democratic Front SDF party. His election was not an easy ride with three candidates on the race and a total of 1,565 voters. Joshua Osi got 915 votes. David Jester Shewa 360 and Gordon Zama, 2017. The election was hotly contested, lasting one full night. Just for the fact that the, the elections went right to the logical end, it's a sign of maturity. This is 6 a.m. since 7 p.m. we started, but we have finally conducted our elections. It's a new dawn for the SDF. We came up today with the major event, which was the elections into the National Executive Committee. And you saw democracy in place, in practice, which shows that the Social Democratic Front actually is the party that founded the, the democracy in this country. The election of a new chairman of the SDF the party is poised to bounce back. Ni John Fundi is dead, but his political legacy continues with Honorable Joshua Osi as his successor. Yes, that is what happened overnight, night of 28 to 29 of October 2023. It's a date that has gone into the annals of history as the day that the Social Democratic Front had a new <coughs> national chairman in the name of Joshua Osi, who has been the first vice president for some time. Now, I'm going to visit my panelists, beginning with uh, Julius Fondo, who is a political analyst. He's written so much on uh, so many things, including the SDF that we're going to discover here. We are going first of all to react to what happened there. We saw that together. Yes, Glenn, I just want to uh, maybe extend my uh, congratulations to the new chairperson of the, of the SDF and also to the militants of, of the SDF for finally holding this, this, this convention that had been long planned and postponed many times. And uh, the SDF, uh, as you rightly said, was, was a leading force for politics in this country for over the years and then, you know, slipped. So with a new chairperson after 34 years and probably a new executive committee, uh, we can only hope that good things uh, will follow after this. Uh, I want to go extend to Mr. Joshua Osi my uh, congratulations and to wish him and the other militants of the SDF well in their future adventures. Thank you very much. We wish him well. But uh, we have to question because that also is our role to question how well, how good, how far they are going to go. They've taken over. That's why our topic today on Press R is the SDF elective convention. Will he make Omar the party? Objectives. He spent time talking about the objectives. I will come back to, to that. Um, Dr. Isidore, we are talking about reacting to what happened overnight. Um, 
toward the new uh, chairman of the SDF said as we watch together. Thank you, Kilian. I must first want to begin by congratulating the new chairman, but I'm afraid that uh, it's not really going to be easy. It is difficult but not impossible for the new chairman to break through, given that I have observed over the years that the problem of SDF are only SDF. When you look at a party, it is a national party, it seems regionalized because even the candidate chosen, they were very unpopular except Osi Joshua. And when you look at it uh, in, the, in the yesteryears, it was, their main fear was not with Southwest, West and Grand North and other parts of the country. But it's unfortunate, regrettable that of course we didn't see any candidate from this other uh, 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 background, of the which means that uh, if there is something actually bleak gloomy in the party because you cannot say that there are militants or sympathizers in the party who do not have an objective anybody who joins a political party have the desire to also ascend to power and they cannot claim that the candidates selected were actually the best and the uh, sdf over the years are noted for our sacking of uh, sympathizers they are noted for some uh, people who resign the create political parties you <coughs> talk of the case of ben muna you talk of the case of uh, nienti who was just sacked recently have created a new political party it means that anybody in that party has an objective that once my objective doesn't go through i resign and create a political party yes please don't use all your bullets now we're going to enter into all what you're talking about and we will make sure that you expand your expansion of course. on what you're talking about just don't worry, we're going to come back to you to, Thank you. Uh, to uh, give us more examples on that. Um, Dennis Nkemlimo, your reaction, one, to the declaration of the new chairman, two, on the elective uh, convention that has brought forth a new chairman of the SDF, a party you were a frontline leader before, today, no longer. Um, yes, let me first of all congratulate uh, Honorable Joshua Osi for his election. Um, af after having said that, I will always say that uh, one French politician said um, that those who, those who believe in what politicians say, um, if, you, if, if you have to believe in what politicians say, well, I, uh, it, it, it's a language as they say in French. Uh, in English, it's, uh, his promises, his speeches, his declarations. Yes. Okay. Um, so you should not believe? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, uh, you know, one thing with some of these politicians is they feel that they, will, they sit on the political set. People no longer know who they are in real life. They forget that they interact with people. These are people that we have, be, we have courted, we have worked together. Yes, beautiful speeches. Beautiful speeches don't build a nation. They don't build a party. And I, I want to say that um, if it were an issue of conventions, that we have to read the success of political party for organizing conventions, the Asia will have long been ruling this country. There is more to a party um, ha uh, harnessing power, mobilizing people, coming out with vision, implementing it, to just holding conventions. Uh, I want to say that uh, the, the victory of OC was a foregone conclusion. A foregone conclusion because uh, the party was <coughs> emptied of its substance to leave the way for lackeys to come and produce the type of person we have seen today called chairman. Because if you, will, if you allow me... I will allow you. Okay. Go ahead. Because... You, they, you they, cannot run into this convention. They, they, All of they, us are aware. They, you will continue to speak. Okay. When you call these people lackeys, yes, today, people you have been working with, defending with all your energy, talking about speeches, you should not believe in the language declarations of politicians. You yourself, you are a politician. And you are the former National Ex Communication, communication Secretary. Secretary of the SDF. That is when everything was gathered, you are the one who with passion, including this set, came and you passed the message Kilian, across. You are right. Today, when you say you don't believe you are right. in those speeches, you are right. I don't it know. Is, you are right. It is in being inside that you know the nature of people who talk so well 
there's public space. And that is one of the reasons why I'm no longer there. Because I couldn't bear it again. And I started saying, look, I don't want to compro compromise my principles. And I started raising alarm. But because there are people uh, who cannot tolerate uh, contrast, contrasting ideas, who cannot <coughs> tolerate an alternative voice, you know the way I left the SDF, I didn't resign. Uh, I, I did everything I could to make SDF follow a different path from where it was going. And they were not able to tolerate us. First of all, well, when you say us, you were talking yeah, about yeah, I. Then, excuse then, me. Let me come. No, we are with you. We, yes. You know, you were talking not only to me, you were talking to, yes. uh, to the world. Now you started, you're talking about you. Now you've talked about us, and we know that you are up to 32, 34 of you who left the SDF. It was even worse than that. You cannot, the, the SDF was paralyzed by the late national chairman, may <coughs> so rest in peace, to pave the way for Honorable Joshua Osi. When in a neck, you in a national executive committee, you dismiss almost all the regional chairpersons. You dissolve all the, almost all the regional uh, structures with a flimsy excuse that they are blocking reorganization which in the previous national ex executive meetings, most of the reports were approved. And following up to that, uh, uh, you, you take a pen... You are using this platform yes. to pass your message. You are not responding to our question because you have not even told the world what, in you, what happened. You are just concluding how they were dismissed. And you know about Article 82, which you have defended <coughs> here. And you have told us on the set and the world that SDF does not dismiss people. That people also dismiss themselves by that article. It also means that you and your other 32, 34 auto dismiss yourself. The, That's the language the, you the have cases, been using here. Yes, the cases before us. It's good you raised that issue, Killian. The cases before us, the A2 was res the procedure was respected because late Professor to let me start from him, LABLM element like me. No, we're no, talking about the National Party. We're not talking about a tribal. Uh, no, well, uh, why do you. you on this I was just saying, I start, uh, charity starts from home, the example. Why no, do you say, want to say the former I say, uh, Secretary General? Don't tell me uh, what I have to say, please. I am saying that late Professor Tajwacha Asongani yes. was summoned by the disciplinary committee of the party, NEC, that transformed itself into <coughs> the disciplinary committee. To try him, that was in accordance with the neck, with the uh, uh, constitution of the party. He was the one who decided not to come. When I say we were dismissed before then, I said before then, with our case, we were never summoned, we were never notified. We only, we were not, and the A2 says that you have to be summoned and you have to present your crimes in front of you. The, 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 the structure in which you committed that crime has to transform itself into a disciplinary committee, properly serve you through the Secretary General. You come along with your uh, a council, if you have, provided that is a member of the party. They try you, and they give their verdict after. We were never summoned. Well, we we were, we, let me, let yes. me make the point, yes. please. Yeah, we were never summoned. Uh, uh, we were Make tried. that you have been talking for about 15 minutes. No, it's because you... Are we okay? You allowed me... Are we okay? Now, if you, because you were you were talking more, do more talking no, now. I mean, I when you give question. me time, you do most of the talking. I have to question you. And then you, you. say I've been talking. I have no, to question you. No, you ask questions. You were giving almost a lecture. So, so ask a question promptly. If I give a lecture, you are responding. Yeah. It means that. So I, what I, I'm I saying is, uh, I don't know why you want to pursue me that w that my idea shouldn't flow to the listeners. No. What I'm saying is that the procedure for the giving of it to we have heard not that. respected. We have heard that. And even after we were given it, we read of it to only on the neck resolution, which is an aberration. And we were not even tried. And after that, we were not served because they say okay. that after the decision, you are okay. properly served. Please, you cannot, come, you cannot come and impose a, a, a narrative. I am not imposing. Na, na, you, you have been talking for 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, see. Um, I will give you... Okay, next uh, time you give me time, I will start, sit you talk. No problem. What we know is that people watching all know that you have been talking for about 15 minutes. 
whether you like it or not, you have spoken for long. So you cannot make as if I'm, I'm stopping you. Um, uh, the, the, the point we are making here, the, you are dismissed since you want to talk. I ask you, did you look for a way to come back to that party? Because it's part of what we are discussing today. Will the, uh, if this you new had asked me that question, I'll answer it. Let me answer it if you permit. Two minutes. I will take less than that. Thank you. <clears throat> the A2 was not properly, uh, the procedure was not followed. And in law, you know very well, like me, that if the procedure is, the, the law is broken, nobody has a right to respect a law. Uh, uh, a decision that is not based on law. If you respect a decision that is not based on law, you are an accomplice to the violation of the law. The procedure for trying us was not respected. We were not served after that. Okay. So how can you contest a decision that you have not even been served, you have not been tried? Thank you very much. I've understood that. But the only comment I will make is that I have known you as the frontline leader of that party. And if you see belief in the ideology of that party, you should have gone back to that party, whether they follow the procedure or not. And then remind Can I briefly reply on that? Uh, very no, briefly. No, very briefly. I will come back. I will come back I to will, you. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to move forward. And we're coming back to you, Julius Fondong, who is a political analyst and author by right. Um, I have read some of your publications about the SDF from the 90s. And they sounded like um, predictions to whether the SDF will survive or not. Can you talk to us about and link it to our topic of today? Will this elective convention make or mar the political party that we have known as the leading political party up to recently? Uh, thank you again, Killian. Yeah, uh, let me just start by saying that in one of the, the publications that you're, you're uh, uh, alluding to, I think I titled it uh, f Failure in Arrogance. And I was asking the question, you know, I was making the point that uh, after every election since 1990, the, the, uh, 1992, the election, <coughs> the SDF has lost about 30% of its influence. After every election, it loses like 30% 30, 30 of its influence. You can see that even by the uh, number of uh, seats in the assembly that went from 40, I think now to down to, I don't know how many members of parliament they have today. Five. Five or so. You can look at the number of councils that they had mm -hmm. when they won in 1996, 1997. How many councils do they control today? So when you look at it critically and you work the numbers, then you come to the conclusion that the, the SDF has been, all, has been on a free fall and in a decline, you know, for the past 20 or so years. And I also make the point that, you know, uh, the SDF had never really uh, made of the northern provinces a, 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 base. a base for some reason or, 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 or the other, even though we all do know that most of the 4 million votes you have up north are swing votes. You have seen how the, how the northern regions have gone from the CPDM to the UNDP, MDR, back to the CPDM in just two two cycles of, of, of elections. So yeah, uh, the, the task before this, this new uh, committee then would be how to re-energize, re, uh, re reignite the interest of the public in the tenets of, uh, of social democracy, bring in new militants. Look at, if you look at the pictures of the, uh, the, the videos from the Congress, look at the average age of those who were there. It's about 50. Mm. You know the, the 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 young people are not there. You know all of those are so. Let us let us say that this is because it is the uh, con convention that if you have to go for elections, you're going to meet the young people. The no, no, um, no, no, uh, Shewa is not really old. Yeah. Uh, Golden Zama is not really old. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about the mil the militant base, not its okay. leadership. You okay. know, I mean, where are the 25 year olds? Where are the where are the 30 year olds in the party? Mm. They don't. They don't. You don't. You, you, you need not be seeing them at the convention. They should be active at the grassroots organs of the party to be able to make up to the convention, so to speak. So, as my 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 other uh, colleagues Pardon have me. said, you know, it's. It's going to be. It's going to take a lot of energy, a lot of uh, new approaches, a lot of uh, tact for the new chairperson, who is already very contested within the party. We must, uh, uh, we see, must see, said, mm. to be able to, you know, create the, the the enabling and propitious environment for the party to to redefine itself, find its soul, and and go back to that message of hope that it gave Cameroonians in in the nineties that made. The, 
millions and millions of Cameroonians to want to associate with it. That spark is lacking somewhere. It has been lacking for, for a very long time. Somebody needs to rediscover it. And I'm just hoping uh, that maybe uh, Joshua and, his, and the new executive will be able to do this. And I am happy that um, the SDF did not fall into one of the traps that um, is raised in one of your publications, that the position of the SDF on uh, the movements in the northwest and southwest problem, uh, uh, regions uh, could accelerate its demise. demise. Yes, uh, I, I, I made that publication based on uh, a conversation I once had with uh, Professor uh, Siga Sanga. And he told me quite candidly that he was afraid that... You, you should know, tell us what, uh, who uh, Siga Sanga okay, was. Okay, Professor uh, Siga Sanga, for those who remember of late, uh, was the first uh, Secretary General of the SDF yes. and, and, and the Chief Ideologue of, of that party. Okay. He was actually my, uh, my teacher, my graduate, graduate su 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 supervisor when I was in the university. And we used to have a lot of you know a lot of uh, you know discussions death in that discussions about about Korean politics and yeah. politics in general and he once expressed to me the fear that you know <coughs> the demise of the SDF will not will not come from the CPDM but from the reactionary elements within that party and he was very very concerned with you know attempts to make of the SDF the voice of Anglophone or Southern Cameroon's nationalism. He did not want the SDF to, to become to become the political voice of you know Anglophone or Southern Cameroon's nationalism because he knew that if that happened, then the party would become boxed into a corner. It would lose its national posture, its national its, its national posture, and it would become it would lose that position that it had. And of course, there were people around the chairman at the time that we know of that were pushing the chairman towards that, that, that direction. They wanted at all costs that the, 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 foundational, uh, the foundational purpose of the SDF should be to be this voice. But Asanga was afraid of that. Even though he was very good friends with the likes of uh, Goji Dinka, I think they, they were all, they were even, they are even in laws. He, Asanga's wife is from the, the, the Dinka family. But they made sure that they kept that difference. That you know, do your Ambazonia, whatever good Gojitinka was doing, and he was the national secretary general of the SDF, which he wanted to be a national party, responsible to being the spokes, you know, the voice of all Cameroonians from north to south, from east to west. He was afraid of that point. So uh, let us say that uh, late chairman of the SDF, Fundi, listened to him because he never took the SDF to that uh, line of thought, to that position, even when he was kidnapped by the separatists and forced to change his position, at gunpoint he said he would not, that his position is known. So could that be uh, a repelling point on the SDF to say that the party has not fallen into that trap and that it could move uh, into a stronger position in the future? It's not enough for the for, for just the chairman to take that position. I, I I would have loved to see as an observer. I would have loved to see a declaration from Nick, clearly, clearly, clearly uh, stating the SDF's position. Whether you like it or not, the grassroots militants of the SDF have always maintained a nebulous relationship between the party and this uh, Anglophone Cameroon nationalist groups. If you look at it critically, most of those who today uh, who are today assembling mobilizing around the Ambazuna concept, if you look at it critically, some of them really are grassroots militants of the SDF. We cannot deny that fact. Everyone so knows that, the position of yeah. the SDF. The chairman has taken that position before he died right up to uh, from when it was created to when he died and I think uh, Honorable uh, Joshua Osi also stands on that position of the SDF that is known to everybody, even to the Cameroonian state, that uh, the SDF position is federalism. So yeah, he has but, never but, changed. But what, 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 what kind? You know, whatever you, you, kind, you, whatever you kind, that is his position. Because you said well, the next should have declared the position. I think that we know the position. No, I think in the uh, or I'm speaking within within a, a specific time frame when this uh, uh, this conflict again reemerged in in 2016 in the form we see today. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, look at the case of uh, somebody like uh, Joe Weber, yes. who was the one of the bravest, you know, to who, who wanting trying to raise this issue from the floor of the, of the assembly and, and didn't succeed. 
where is he today? He went right back to the other side, maybe. Where is he today? So th that's why I say there's always been this nebulous, some kind of unclarified nebulous r relationship between the grassroots militants of the party and the, 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 the Anglophone Cameroon, or what I want to call the <coughs> Southern Cameroon's nationalist movements that have really never been clarified. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I come over to you, Dr. Isidore. Um, will SDF, this is where I expect you now to bring those examples that you were bringing from the beginning. Will the SDF come out stronger from this convention or weaker? Will this elective convention make that party uh, or will my it? It is difficult but not impossible. Mm. Because uh, when you look at the party itself, why, why am I saying it's difficult? Because it has become a regional issue. A regional party where it's like center all in northwest and southwest, like a, an Anglophone party. And uh, with the you say it has become. I know that. Excuse me for coming in. From the nineties, the party has always had a base, yeah. a very strong uh, hold in the northwest and southwest. Uh, what you are saying, I don't think that there's no, anything new. Let me say this: in a political conundrum, you will realize that. Uh, when we are experiencing difficulties in our CF, what do we do? We open up our tentacles. West, for instance, we have Mete Lavazi, Sapi, Nienche, and a host of others. They used to have about four councils from the West. Today, how many do they have? And now, even to have a candidate from such region, they don't have. Even to be to campaign or even have a position of responsibility, they don't have. You go to Grand Law, where they used to have some stronghold, nobody is there. And when you limit it to Northwest and Southwest, with the difficulties we are experiencing in Northwest and Southwest, will they really succeed? I say no. Because in the previous year, Kim Lemon was here last time to say that they won't go in for election because of the ongoing crisis. Maybe um, uh, because of the ongoing crisis in Northwest. And now they are beefing up for election, presidential election. Have the crisis ended? No. But they have a new momentum, as we saw in the, um, the convention. The new momentum can't change anything because Neil John Fundy himself, who was more charismatic, who was somebody that was loved by all Cameroonians, if he could not succeed, if he ran away, he shone away from the last presidential election, I'm afraid uh, OC might not be the, the person to, to pilot that party through. Why I'm not? not saying that I'm minimizing him, mm. but I've said it is difficult but not impossible. You know, there is a kind of a wind of change. If he come in with a new blood, if it come in to be more dynamic, because the party seems too dogmatic, that is, they have a kind of philosophy where they are too limited within a faith. They are not dynamic. They are not open. How so, do you expect them? What dynamism do you want Dynamism them to means that they should bring in the youth, as you said, not only old people in the party with some funny mentality. Secondly, they should expand the party to other regions. They should appoint people in other regions. The other people in the other nine regions or eight regions should be also be members of the executive committee. It shouldn't be a regional, in fact, I can call it a regional club. Is it though, the example that um, uh, Senior Julius raised here was about the convention of people who are aging. But when I watch the rallies of the SDF. I don't think that they are all old people who come out. Until recently, it's not up to a year, M Mr. Kemblimo was in the party. I don't think that it was made up of only old people. And uh, let me tell you, it wasn't made up of old people, but the average, the younger people I've seen in that party is between 40 or what? For my as opinion, leader or as following? Not because, because it as is a sympathizer, because I have not seen a young leader of 30. I'm not seeing any person. In is person that of peculiar power, to is that peculiar to the SDF or it is a general thing in, in the country? In the you have young people, have a handful of them. If you go to uh, Cabral Libi, you see young people. So when you come to SDF, we have only old people, and the old SDF people are actually the problem themselves because when somebody uh, goes out of the party or fire and they came he becomes against the party, and that is where he tries to understand the secret of the party. So they disenfranchise the party by going out or by being sacked. He was saying here a while ago that uh, uh, they were uh, article 82 was biased. I want to say no because if it was biased, they went to the court. Why wasn't it ruled in their favor? It means that the national chairman, the 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 the, 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 the uh, new John Fuli, who is of blessed memory, was right. Because if he was wrong, they would have ruled that verdict in the favor of the 34 members that were fired. Dennis Kemblemo. Yes, uh, let me begin from where Doctor has said. Uh, for clarification, the court did not rule in our disfavor. The court simply declared its incompetence. They didn't get into the facts of the case and judged that. We were wrong 
and others were right. No, the court cannot say is incompetent and then you are talking I'm about judgment. You the judgment. Uh, they said they are not competent to handle the matter. That but is the ruling of the, uh, uh, the the judge of the court of first instance. Yes, that, that then the rest, um, the rest. after saying that, well, yes. because what I understand is the court cannot say I'm incompetent. No, they said it, unfortunately. No, this is what I'm saying. Unfortunately, the court says that, it. no, the court actually declares itself incompetent in certain, certain matters. Yes. But the, the same court cannot go ahead to declare judgment, to pass judgment. No, what I'm but saying, that, what I'm saying that their judgment, I don't know what I call judgment or what, is they said they were Incompetent, yes. So I wrote saying a reaction to my man that okay. we were saying that the court said we were wrong. No, the court ah, okay. didn't make any judgment. They, said okay, we, they were incompetent to mm. handle the matter. Um, the, and, and as you have always said, that was an internal problem um, of the SDF and should be solved internally. So yes. what I was saying is that I think the fundamental problem, being an insider for long and being at the highest level of the management of the party, the, high, the, the fundamental problem is the SDF is leadership problem and proper mechanics of managing conflicts within the party. The, from 19, the inception in 1990 to today, 2023, we have had a series of poorly managed conflicts uh, which have led to the depletion of the SDF gradually. And... Uh, 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 my brother is not wrong to say that um, the SDF is lacking now in uh, the, the youth. Uh, it's an old base. The people, I mean, the most of the militants are aged people. Um, the problem, and I've raised that even within internal circles of the party, that we should stop relying on past glories. We should know that, that by the time that this party was launched, um, the, the, a person who was just born is already 33 years, which means that the people, to, those who were born in 2000, who are already active in politics, born in 19, uh, 1990 and so on, um, I mean 2000 upwards, who are supposed to be active in politics, they, know, they don't know what Asia went through to be created. They don't know the heydays. They don't no. know the past glory. No. So the, the, our problem was that we should stop relying on past glory and we have had the problem in the party of rather than tackling conflicts and see how we can manage. Yes, Mr. We easily just Mr. Kemlo, yes, my dear. You and yes. many other people of the SDF yes. who have been leading and who are leading today. Yes. SDF was the one party in two thousand and eighteen presidential election. Yes. To have another candidate while the founding uh, chairman was alive. Mm -hmm. And you said it's the Democratic Party in the country. How come that overnight the party has so many arrows? Yeah, the, uh, you, it. it was what happened in 2018 was a wonderful thing for the SDF, uh, in the sense that uh, <coughs> the, the party chairman stepped back and promoted or allowed others to come up, come up. That's democracy. I said, I said, well, it was democracy because the elections were done at the convention. It was not an appointment by the national chairman. It was through election that uh, Honorable Joshua O.C. became candidate. That, that is a fact to be, a democratic fact to be appreciated. Mm. What, what the problem is how this man, whom we plebiscited very highly in 2018, handled the job we gave him as candidate. That has created, that was one of the reasons that uh, created a lot of schism in the party, a lot of third, a lot of conflict. He, could he have played any magic? Because, no. because at uh, 2018, when we understand that the base of the SDF is not a secret that's been in the Northwest and Southwest, and we know what's been happening in the Northwest and Southwest, you didn't exp expect any magic to come from I Northwest and I Southwest. I beg to disagree, sir. The, North, the Northwest and the Southwest. Contrary to what many people say, the Southwest has never ever been a strong base of the SDF like the West and Littoral. Yeah. And there was no uh, war in West and Littoral. Um, the, the disaffection <coughs> in this formal base of the SDF, Littoral and West, is because of the endemic causes that I was talking about of leadership and a lack of proper conflict management 
uh, strategies <coughs> of the party. Yes, now let us look forward. Well, I, I, I listen to the new chairman, uh, Honorable Joshua Osi, in the objectives he was given. He said, objective is that they should get more councils, objective is that they should get more places in parliament, objective is that SDF should become one of the strongest political forces in Cameroon. Uh, before, you are a political before, analyst. Before, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if I can make a comment. On what I'm saying. Yes, yes. On what I'm saying. Yes, of course. Y yes, yes, but I have not even finished. Before uh, the SDF has the SDF, uh, even when the chairman was there, it looked like they were no longer <coughs> aiming at getting to the helm of state, which is the primary objective of a political party, to get to power, conquer it. You hit the nail on the head. You hit the nail on the head. Um, and that's what I wanted to say that when the SDF starts depending on the people they are supposed to oppose to get whatever little political fallouts that they can they can have. And you supported that for long. Count, we have I understood. never supported that. No, you were there when no, it was no, happening. Listen, I'm, no, let me see. Look at the, the man who is promising us heaven within this new convention. Uh, when he's uh, he's too talking, it's not about him. No, no, when I'm the, talking when the, the party. Listen, yeah. when he's too talking and giving us his new vision as a new national chairman, I saw him uh, an appointee uh, in his position in assembly that relied he relied on government to get that position. I saw on uh, the senator who is in, in the in uh, who is in the senate thanks to the same uh, government that the uh, is supposed to oppose and take seats from. I saw the man who was standing as the first vice, uh, an appointee, uh, national uh, no, reconstruction. You, are you saying... And these are the people who say they will fight this regime, they no, will fight the, this government, the, this has, and this has, well been, this has been happening so, since... So uh, how do we... How, uh, 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 was, uh, how do we imagine... was an appointee, was she uh, on the party? No, Mr. <laughs> Madam Elimelan Tamanjong was a university professor, he was a civil servant, he was teaching in a Konoma. He was teaching. She, she was teaching. She was a university professor. We are not saying I'm, I'm, I was communication secretary. I'm a civil servant. I'm not saying that we should not participate in the civil service of the country. That is if something. You, else. If you don't go but to you parliament, you cannot tell me that the position if you don't, of a if you don't go to parliament, the position of a senator is not a political position. If you don't especially go, as you go get there by appointment, if you don't go not by election. The, this is the so point. So I think we should make this point the, very clear. This, so this, these same people cannot say see, that they will fight this the system. And so uh, uh, the, the only difference, uh, the difference, and I dove my heart to Nijon Frundi, may he so rest in peace, is that he never ever like loved to get into that appointment. You are fighting somebody and then you want him to, the political <coughs> company where you want him to be the one to put on your head. No, this so, so is, this is, so this is, that this is, is a paradox that this only is. the new national chairman can explain to us. No, he? he has come today. You cannot blame him on all what has been happening until recently. He, he has come in, you have been there with him, and I think that it would be unfair to uh, say that he is the one who has been doing this. He is just chairman as from this morning, October 29. So you break from the past October, by resigning October, from the question. October, October 29, uh, excuse me, October 29, <laughs> 2013 is from today that you can judge uh, Joshua Osi. With the new chairman, you cannot carry things that happened between uh, uh, before today and put on his head. Yeah. Uh, we, we, are, we are talking here, uh, uh, being watched by the world over. You cannot do that because we cannot accept that here because you will be even carrying the things that you did wrong and putting them on Joshua Osi's head. So you should judge him from today. Our question <laughs> is, our question is, yes. our question is, yes. what do you expect him to do or his new? government to be, to do, to reharness, to give a new momentum to the SDF. That's the question we'll be handling now, uh, to bring the party back to its past glory and face political op opposition. Yes, if, 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 I, if I were in a position, I yes. am asking the question, yes. if I were in a position to do that, it is very simple. Internal tolerance. Criti criticism against you does not mean hatred. You, you must have checks and balances with the party within the party so that look at the person who is finding fault with you not to be an enemy 
because uh, that that critical eye is very important. Second, we should know that the the political arena in Cameroon now is extremely competitive. We no longer rely on past glories. We should go out there and recruit the youths, and then we should have a language of consistency. We should be able to be our action should be consistent with uh, our words should be consistent with our action and vice versa. Then again, lastly, uh, we have to know that you cannot be fighting on somebody and be depending on the person at the same time. We should stop. We should come back to have that big ambition that we have an alternative uh, uh, platform to present to Cameroonians. And rather than negotiating for little, little privileges well, from the sea system that yeah, we are fighting to replace. See, I will not comment on that because it will derail <coughs> us. I want to ask you this one as the, the least, because you talked about the last. You are of the dissenting uh, camp of the SDF. You didn't say he should reconcile. No, we, let, me, let me explain. I will be very, very <coughs> sincere with you. Uh, uh, yes, briefly. I'm very uncomfortable um, when you refer to me as a politician because I'm not one. I, 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 one of my um, things that I discovered that, that, that I got into a sphere um, that I didn't want to play to the rules. Playing to the rules means that you sacrifice your personal moral principles and no, we cannot be talking about today. You no, were there no, for I, so long. You no, have been a, a member of that SEF. I just thought that you would say he should reconcile with uh, those of... Yes. Uh, uh, what should be done? What should so, be done, uh, Dr. E.C. I'm very uncomfortable now with politics. I think that, uh, yeah, but when I don't want to get into that with the uh, that you have been a politician with the... But uh, with I LGF. realized that yeah. it is not my, my mood. Okay. It's not yes. my I think mood. that what the new chairman need to do now is to get to work it should be more tolerant, like he said, and uh, criticism should be constructive. It should not only be destructive, and it should get down to the grassroots, involve more youths into the party, and it should extend the party to other regions. And uh, it should not be biased by, you know, uh, taking only a few people from the regions to be the members of the executive. It should extend it. It is a national party and not a regional affair. Thank you very much. I am uh, really surprised to hear you not talking about, I'm um, just coming to you, you are the one to, to be on the scene now, uh, Mr. Fondong. I'm really surprised to hear some of you not raising the things that you raise on this set around the world, that if there's biometric in Cameroon, it's thanks to SDF and under chairman, within which you had uh, Joshua O.C., you had uh, Kemlimos, you had all these people. If there was this, 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 the list is long. And then none of you is no, uh, echoing that here. You are just we, talking about it. Well. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, Julius, what should the new... Uh, dispensation in the SDF do to reharness to bring a new momentum for this party to get a basically new two things I think we all we cannot sit on this set and pretend everybody who has been observing we are not I'm not a militant of the SDF or any party for that matter mm -hmm. but uh, all of us who have been watching the SDF from afar know that it's a very very divided fractious party right now mm -hmm. The most important thing that the new chairperson has to do, he's not new as such, he's been the vice chair for years, so he's <coughs> been, he's been, he, he knows the world, he knows the files. It would be to, you know, get the, the SDF house in order. Mm -hmm. And uh, my colleagues have, have said there's the need for reconciliation within that party and genuine Re reconciliation and secondly the SDF <coughs> right now for some years now lacks technocratic leadership it has it has as somebody said fired all it, its technocrats and just had a, a, bo a, a group of a group of uh, politicians around the chairman who are running the party most of whom even abandoned the chairman uh, a few years before he died so he needs to figure out how to get these people back and then bring back the technocratic leadership that the party needs to, to create a long-term strategy on how to reach the pinnacle of power in this country, because that's what SD was created for anyways. And third, it has to grow its base, demographic, demographically and geographically. We've mentioned around this table, and uh, Dennis agrees with us, that the, the base of the party is it's, it's aging. And they don't seem to be, the, the, the SDF, like most, unlike many parties, seems to be unable to attract 
younger younger militants into into its basic organs into into the structures but while they do that they also have to know that the the, the opposition space is not what it used to be before other 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 actors have come in the mrc has come in the pcrn has come in so they have to battle inch by inch every territory especially some of these parties are establishing what used to be their bases Douala, the west and and and, and yaoundé so the most important thing therefore for joshua right now will be to develop a new approach a kind of a big tent approach that brings everybody in and brings <coughs> brings back the technocratic leadership that the the sdm was was so good at in the 90s that was that was able to propel the party to the heights that it reached by the year by by uh, mid to 2000 and uh, and then grow its base as i said ju in, by way of geography and by way of uh, demographics bringing new age groups into the party and giving them responsibilities that will help them you know forge a new visions and new approaches on how to make uh, the party achieve its ultimate objective as i said yes there is something which uh mr ankemle raised that you cannot want to get to somewhere and the person you are opposing will be the one to crown you in one way or the other now i ask when we look at politics in the united states of america we look at politics in other Western countries. We see that when it comes to certain national issues, political parties unite and look on the common front. That is it. Is it something wrong for the SDF to rally with the CPDM, with some other political parties, to go look at national issues and say, yes, this one we are talking about our country, we have to agree, and then politics come, uh, political uh, power comes later. Yeah, I agree with you there. <coughs> uh, the only issue is, I give you precedence. We had rallied behind the government to fight Boko Haram in the north. We even made personal contributions where we had a convention in Bamenda. Those are national security issues. We had refused to split Cameroon by bringing in the, 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 the issue of federalism that would respect our uh, historical heritage. We have brought out that. The issue is not to go negotiating positions. It is about national cause. And the SDF has stood back. Nobody says that we cannot rally behind the ruling government for a cause, a national cause. We have done that several times. And we are ready to do that. But we should not confuse that with the issue of going and negotiating posi personal positions for interest. Well, that's, if, that's if you say for like interest... This. I agree, but negotiation is part of politics. No, but you, you cannot be fighting somebody and at the same time you say uh, he, should what crown, if, he should be the one to crown what you. If that were because a tactic in politics? No, in which type of tactic? UNDP came and told us about their platform tactic, even when went to government. Where is UNDP now? The other political parties that we call presidential majority, where are they now? In fact, the soul of the SDF. I cannot even dissuade myself from the soul of the SDF. The soul as the SDF is resistance to oppression. Well, now you are talking. Can we say that's your last uh, word? Yes, of the, yes, resistance to oppression. When you start compromising with oppression for certain reasons or whatsoever, <coughs> you, are, you have lost the soul of the SDF. And uh, we, we give you credit to your declaration, but the only <coughs> thing that we reproach from you is when you found yourself out of the SDF. It is when you are using these words. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to uh, have your last word. Uh, yes, I just Dr. wanted to react uh, to what you say. We have not given any merit of uh, uh, SDF that they did, did. We have done. Uh, we at least we know that we recognize the effort. But the problem is that they have some unmerited claims at one moment where they claim that they were the one who brought democracy in Cameroon. So I want to say that they reintroduced democracy in Cameroon. It is not a problem of the SDA because in West Cameroon we used to have one Cameroon, Tomaza, we used to have uh, KND of Foncha, we have CVNC of Indele, and in this other part of Mongo we have uh, UPC, which was formed on 10 October 1948. Uh, yes, so we, they we should we not claim that one. And um, they should equally be democratic because when the chairman from creation to death, he am the chairman of that party, and now OC have taken over. How democratic are they? No, uh, the election to the position of chairmanship today, we watched that was democratic. Yes, I'm just we had to three make candidates. Allusion. We had three candidates. We had Joshua Osi. No, we, we, uh, please, please, please we have David. We have David Shawa. We have Gordon Ozama. No, please, please.
Please, we, cannot we cannot question. We cannot question that you can. <laughs> that it was democratic is a fact. Um, to, the level of democracy is something else. I think we cannot take that away from them. Thank you very much. And when SDF says they brought aspects of dem democracy, a personal thing that they contributed a lot to. No, they have done things. So you cannot you cannot take that away things. from them. Uh, they reintroduced. They didn't bring it. They reintroduced because it had well, existed long. That, that is a detail. I cannot again say the fact that the SDF changed the political landscape in Cameroon mm -hmm. like like very few parties before it had done. It mm -hmm. created it created the momentum in Cameroon that a lot of Cameroonians were, okay. were, were looking for at the time. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that if you look at uh, Ijon Fundi's uh, performance at the 1992 elections, this man didn't even speak English or French. He didn't even speak French. Yes. But he, he was able to, you know, garner support from around the country because he had a message that, re that resonated with a lot of Cameroonians. Then, to, to conclude, a good opposition is good for our system, the, our system and our democracy. So it's I, I would just wish that with the new uh, executive that has been voted into the SDF, the SDF voted this morning, they will be able to re reignite its opposition, be it this opposition force that will keep that will create the necessary checks and balances that is good for our democracy and for accountability in a country like Cameroon. Thank you very much, Julius Fondong, a political analyst and author. Thank you, Isidore Kwakum, who oh. is uh, uh, Dr. Isidore Kwakum, who is a political analyst. Thank you very much. Dennis Kemlimo, who is a political analyst. I thought you were still a politician. You say, no, you've uh, abandoned that. Okay, we give that to you. You have your right. We, we also invited someone from that convention uh, Honore Ngam, who uh, from the beginning of this uh, program, he assured us he was coming, he should have given all the fresh information from that uh, National Executive Committee uh, election, rather, convention. Uh, he has turned that down. We're sorry about that, but um, we hope that you learned so much from this program, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. There will be a broadcast of this program on Monday at 2.30. May God bless you.